Hello everybody and welcome to a video that I am really excited to show you all. Um, I know 2021 is already in full swing, but I thought I would go ahead and show you how I am using my A5 Hobonichi Cousin. So the cover I'm currently using is an actual Hobonichi cover. I don't quite know um, if it was for this year or if it was one of the ones that they were re-released from the vault. I'm not 100% sure. I bought this cover um, slightly used off a of buy sell trade group um, and I just absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Um, so I've never, I usually use leather covers, but I figured since I'm trying the Hobonichi this year, I might as well try it with all of the accessories. So here we go. Um, the cover, the inside cover itself, um, I try to keep my pockets both decorative and functional. On the side here, I have a Coletto. It's a Sailor Moon Coletto. It's really freaking cute. And I use that for... Um, habit tracker or to fill in my habit tracker and my Hobonichi cousin. Um, the pockets itself has a Starbucks gift card that I used to cut washi. This is a card with my information on it. I do it for all my um, covers. It's just name, email, um, phone number in case, you know, I ever misplaced the notebook, which hasn't happened to me yet. Knock on wood. But yeah, that's just a fail safe. So this here is from my unboxing from the AliExpress haul I did. It was packaging for sticker flakes, but I just reused it for um, some post-it notes. And it's super cute, so that goes right there. Um, these here are just sticker sheets that I cut down from uh, sticker books. And I use this for my gratitude. Um, and my weekly spreads in my journal. And I also use them to mark off on the monthly calendar what days I journaled. So that's held by this cute um, magnetic bookmark that I got from Hello Paper Cat. These die cuts are also from Hello Paper Cat. She's a really cute um, Instagram and you know online store where you can purchase just pretty much anything kawaii you can think of she has drawn and made it into either a bookmark a die cut or a sticker she's amazing um the die cuts i have a sailor moon die cut and then a nezco die cut from demon slayer that's a great anime by the way if you are into anime i highly recommend you check that one out these are just some washi sample cards that i made The pockets here have just another die cut with my name on it. This came from Flow Magazine. It was like a mini um, notebook, but I tore out all the pages and just put in some, some more sticky notes. And then this was a collage sheet image from Little Raven Ink from Courtney. Or, I said that completely wrong. From Courtney's <laughs> Patreon uh little raven ink I, th I think you all should check her out she's got such cute like if you're into like quirky vibrant uh unique things and you would definitely love her channel um she's also inspired my journaling style quite a bit so i i think she's great especially if you're just starting out um this is a hobonichi folder now in here i don't really have anything impressive it's literally just scraps of things that i have had for a while that i'm trying to use up so just some stickers nothing too impressive and that goes in this back pocket here um inside i put some um i got this idea from Dakshina. She does um, photographs and a piece of vellum at the beginning of her planners. So I did the same thing with some of my favorite photos from 2020. I 
I have no idea how I'm using how I'm using this page, so I just decorated it. Um, my tracker, I am right now just doing coffee, no spend, every day I read, draw, and the weather. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this idea. I mean, it's just something I'm trying, and that's this is what I use my Coletto for. Um, these are my monthly pages. This is an idea I got from Courtney from her Patreon. I'm going to mention her a lot because Courtney Diaz is awesome. Um, but yeah, so she just does like a photo a day in this. Since I'm not using it as a planner, it seems like a, a better way for me to utilize these pages. So I started January. And yeah. I just pre-decorated some of the the months um so the weekly pages I do the three pot either three positive things that happened that day or uh three things that I'm grateful for or a combination of the two and that's pretty much it so that's what I use these um stickers for I have a whole bunch um I mean if you have those happy planner sticker books like you're gonna have a million of these lying around um, so yeah, I just tear them out and I cut them into thirds and I have them all together in my couch bag. So I use that for, uh, my gratitude pages. This is also a great way for me to use up like my stickers, um, sticker flakes. It's just awesome. Um, I, I just throw everything at it and without rhyme or reason. And I really enjoy how they look. I have a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So as you can see, like I pre-decorated all the way into March. Um, and then this page here is just going to be my favorite picture of the month with highlights, kind of like a year in review. So I usually do this at the end of all of my inserts. I will go back and choose my favorite photo from the month and just talk about you know, my favorite things that happened. Um, and since this is one year in um, one notebook, I already set it up for the whole year here. Um, so yeah, these are my daily pages. So as far as my daily pages go, I um, prep in advance. I'm not sure how I'm going to put that in there. Um, I prep my pages in advance, which is why you can see like um, January 6th was a really big, um, really big event happened in the U.S. It was both bittersweet. I mean, you had the two Democratic candidates that won the, uh, Senate runoffs, but then you also had, um, the storming of the Capitol. So it was just a very, um, somber day. And unfortunately I had pre-decorated, so it doesn't really reflect, um, that too much here um yeah so it happens quite a bit actually but yeah i find that um pre-decorating the pages kind of a creepy snowman we made um it really helps me journal because there are just some days that um um, I don't really feel the urge to decorate. So having something already on the page really, really helps me write. So as you can see, I've consistently written every day this so far this year. Um, and that's been a big factor for me. Um, so yeah, this page here, as you can see, like I had <laughs> pre-decorated and I completely forgot that the 20th was the inauguration. And so everything is green when it I originally had tended to make it red, white, and blue, or just blue or purple, but I made it green. Um, so yeah, so I have some photos from the inauguration, that beautiful poem um, that was read by Amanda Gorman, um, and that's her there. It's just beautiful. I highly recommend that you look that up. It's the hill we climb. Um, so yeah. And this was yesterday. And as you can see, like I just 
decorated like crazy. Um, this is a prompt from the stationery selection, your favorite washi tapes, your 10 favorite. Um, I got this idea to make like washi card samples um, from Courtney Diaz again. Um, yeah, she, I think she got the idea from Mitts, from My Life Mitts, but I really, really enjoyed how it looked. It's still a work in progress, but yeah, that's what I have so far. And that is all of how I'm using it. Um, so I have just my photo a day for the months, my gratitude in the weeks. Uh, or positive things, and then my daily pages. Now, the last few pages I have, um, I'm using this for my books read. I cut these out with my sprocket, but I realize I probably should make them smaller. So for the back page, I probably will because I'm, based on how this is going, I'm probably going to need a lot more space. Um, these are ink samples. Typically, I do this in every journal where I will um, swatch inks that I use to write in the notebook. Um, but this year for Christmas, my husband um, bought me a bunch of random ink samples from Goulet Pens and he made me my own um, ink vent calendar. So every day I got a different um, fountain pen ink sample. And so this is where I kind of swatch them. And then these little stickers just indicate that I've already um, put these inks in a pen or I've swatched them. Uh, yeah, just to show that I've already used them. Won't be purchasing, won't be purchasing. Not a fan really of how they work. Uh, but yeah, this is just, um, I tried out a stencil. It's just going to be like a random swatch page, I guess. Here are my Arteza toy markers. I ordered the 100 set, so when they came in, I made sure to swatch all of them. They work very well with Timoe River paper. Um, there's very minimal ghosting. So yeah, I do plan on, I do use these ever so often um, in my journal. Here I have Another swatch page. Um, so for new watercolors, I ordered some from Hydrocolor. Her neons are amazing. They're super fluorescent. Um, some Tombow markers. I don't have many. I don't plan on getting any more, but these are the ones that I currently own. Um, some Versa Magic chalk inks that are really old. Um, this page here is where I put all of my washi scraps. So like as I journal, if I ever have a piece of washi that, you know, I tear off or is extra, I just put it on a page. Same thing with bits of stickers. Um, this is something I started a couple years ago and I really like seeing how the page fills up throughout the year. Um, so I did that here. Here I was just testing out my zig markers because they're very old. So I wasn't sure if they still worked and they do. I just didn't finish the illustration. Um, this page is where I plan on putting swatches of any new washi tape that I bring in in the new year, um, just so I can kind of keep track of what's coming into my stash. This is, um, <laughs> yeah. So I usually use the last two pages to do like scribbles to get the ink flowing in my fountain pens whenever I swap out the inks. Um, so that's what this page is. Um, in the back, these are from Hello Paper Cat, so is this. Um, this die cut is from the shop Luna Soul. Um, I'm a member of her Patreon pin club and yeah, she included this with the last, this past month's pin, which is freaking adorable. Um, I don't have it with me right now. I have it upstairs in my Delphonics pouch. Um, but behind that, I have a tarot card from Michael's that they had in their Halloween section last year, I think, or the year before. Um, it's kind of old. And then I have a number stencil from Allie Brown.
in the back here, I don't really have a whole lot. This is the other um, sticker flake packaging. That I'll probably put some sticky notes in here too. Um, I saw this idea on an Instagram post where you take the plastic part of a um, of um, junk mail or like any letter really and what you do is you glue it on the page and you can have like um, if you have flower stickers you can make it look like a vase you could draw your flowers stamp them I thought it looked really cool so I have that here to use in a future future spread um, a couple of stickers I love cows like this was the first time this picture is from when I went to a, f a farm that had cows where I was able to milk a cow and feed a baby calf um for the first time and it was just like it's one of the best moments of my entire life um yeah anyway so there's those are there um this is from an old old package from uh what is it from an order from shine sticker studio i think it is you can see i still have part of the envelope on the back i just really liked how she hand lettered my name so i tore it out laminated it um this is the sample page from my aliexpress haul a larger number stencil this was not from ali brown this was from a really old six by six stencil that i got off on etsy um, I cut off the bottom part because it had like a hashtag and an exclamation point. I don't really use that, so I cut it out. This is um, from Courtney from Courtney Diaz from Little Raven Ink. Her stuff is super cute. Like if you like that quirky, um, different, uh, bright style, like you will love her Patreon. Like I just, I adore her style and her stuff. So it's everywhere in my journal and has been for the last four years. Yeah. I think I've been a patron for four years now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's unreal. Anyway, so there's that. This is just from, this is an image I got off the internet and I just, uh, printed it out and put it in there when I have my Twisby. Um, let's, I'm going to show you the back of my Hobonichi cousin. So that's the front and then this is the back. It's pretty simple. I don't really have anything collage on the back cover, like the inside back cover. But anyway, so that is currently how I am using my A5 cousin. Um, so a quick run through again, because I don't really know if I've made that clear or not, but monthly pages, um, picture for the day, your overview, tracking random things. That's probably going to change. Weekly pages are gratitude and things, positive things. Uh, daily pages, a hodgepodge of stuff. And then the back is just tracking books, inks, swatches, washi, uh, you name it. It's just a random mix of things. But yeah, so that is my Hobonichi cousin. Um, that's my current journal for the year. And if um, there's ever a day where I want to write more and I don't have space, I created like an overflow, overflow journal volume 11 part two where I just write yeah so I'm not limited just to that just to this page you know I have space so I can write more if I want but yeah so that's it uh thank you guys for stopping by if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Um, I'll leave um, Hello Paper Cat, Luna Soul, and Courtney Diaz's Patreon link down below in case you all are interested. But uh, all right, have a good one. Thanks, guys.